guys, so fresh out of the shower and my hair has been air drying in my t-shirt for about 20-ish minutes. And I wanted to come on here and try to do one of the heatless styles that I've been seeing on TikTok and YouTube and everything. And so I washed my hair. Uh, tonight was hair washing night. So I'm gonna put a little bit of Kenra blow dry spray in my hair so that I can comb through it because it is a little tangly. And one thing I've noticed since using Olaplex shampoo and conditioner and going through and um, doing treatments is my natural wave pattern is coming back. And I've had quite a few clients say that their hair has never been as curly as it has been since we started doing Olaplex. And that's just the bonds repairing themselves and your hair going back to the way that it usually is. Everyone has a little bit of texture in their hair and damage causes that to straighten out and just thought that was interesting. So here's my hair all combed out, freshly washed, air dried for about 20 minutes. I'd say it's about 25% dry. And from, I've never done this before, I'm going to be using socks, and these are like boot socks, like they're long. And I'm going to be sectioning my hair into four sections and braiding them using little elastics. I have these little elastics that I'm going to be using. I'm going to go ahead and set those out. And essentially you kind of braid your hair using sections of your hair and a sock and you sleep on it and then the next day you have wave or curls. Some people do just two sections and they have like a wave. I'm going to do four just to try it out. So I'm going to Trying to do this. There's a mirror right behind my phone. I'm using to record this on. All right, so I've kind of split my hair the best I could without seeing it down the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not gonna wear this anywhere. Duh, because we're on quarantine, but get a comb stuck in your hair, that's always great. Okay, so just because I am a hair colorist, not a hairstylist, I always like to say. I'm not great at doing hairstyles, so I figured y'all could get a good laugh out of this since I can't be bringing you new colors and all that fun stuff. really hard to do in yourself. We haven't even gotten to the braiding part. Okay, so I kind of took one section down and then I'm taking a section right from behind my ear and up. I don't know how straight that is. It's probably the worst parting I've ever done, ever known to man. And I've only watched about half a dozen of these and never all the way through. So <laughs> that makes me an expert, right? So I know that you want it all. And I'm gonna try it without like any product other than the blow dry spray that I use to kind of detangle my hair. And I promise these socks are clean. They're just old as dirt. I've had them forever. Maybe I should have watched more videos. Because I know you want to start up as close as to the top as you can. Okay. So I'm going to go... 
I'm gonna swap the places, bring in the back front and the front to the back. And I'm gonna push the sock, go under and swap them. Push, and I'm making it tight. And I am just maybe doing a horrible job at this, but oh well, what can you do? I'm going in front of and behind the sock, braiding it into my hair. My husband is going to question my sanity when I come out of the restroom. So far, this looks like TikTok, doesn't it? Like, oh, <laughs> I just shot a rubber band. Oh, that'll be cool, because in my mind, this is going to dry and leave those beachy little pieces. I may have to go through and straighten these tomorrow when they're dry, but we'll see. So now for the hard part, doing it behind my head, because I did so well doing it. Now, we'll see what it looks like when I wake up. How bad does this look? This is not going to be great to sleep on. Oh well, we'll see in the morning. Good morning. So, here I am about 12 hours later. I went ahead and got dressed for the day and did a little bit of makeup just to kind of match the hair hopefully I have some curls and not just a mess number one sleeping on these things was tough I like to sleep with my hair on top of my head in a loose bun and this did not this was not the most comfortable thing so I see why people just do two and they do it by their face going through that I may like if this works try to do instead of like straight from the back, do it like kind of bringing it towards the face, but it wasn't that bad. And if this made curls where I could just get up and go, then I think that it would be worth it. Especially not having the heat damage. So let's see. Uh-oh. They are dry, like they are, that's one reason why I left them in so long. All right, these back ones don't feel promising. Oh no. It's not that bad. It's not the kind of curls that I get with my curling iron, but it kind of looks like one of those waving machines. 
My hair's still a little damp up top. <laughs> See what the back looks like. Okay, um, this is probably not an option for me, but that doesn't mean that it's not an option for you. I just don't like my hair to be this curly towards the end. So what I may do is, I don't even know that I'll be able to go like three or four days without washing it with it being like this. But now I see why people may do two braids so that it's not that way. Oh goodness. Oh no, no. Okay, let me try to zhuzh up my ropes. So give me one second. Okay, so I'm going to be putting some dry shampoo in at my roots. I usually don't do this on first day or second day. I try to wait till the third day. And since we've been home on quarantine, I haven't done it at all. But it is just so much down here. But it's kind of beachy. Like I could definitely maybe, if I can do something with this area, deal with this. Especially on the beach. Like, it's very beachy. Maybe even if I had sprayed, like, a sea salt spray in my hair before. I don't have one, but... Those typically don't work on my hair. Because I don't have a lot of curl pattern. Okay. So, number one, it's off because my part... It's not like that. So that's throwing me off. And number two, even I always have to style my bangs section no matter what I do. So now, I'm going to wet these and I'll be right back. I just kind of cool them. My hair. I missed my hair appointment. Because of the virus and my ends are ready to be trimmed. Okay, so with any luck, I'm actually going to straighten. I don't know. You can see how fuzzy. My hair doesn't usually look that fuzzy. I wonder if it's fuzzy because it slept. I slept so rough on it. I don't normally sleep with wet hair, at least not for the past little bit. So. These ends aren't that bad, but like, this is pretty rough. So I'm going to just run my straightener over the ends. into way more than just a wet hair style, but if you can make it work. Okay. Let me just check the mirror. That's kind of my part. Okay. This could definitely work. You could definitely do this 
and I would still split it down the middle of your hair. That way you have the curl over here because there's so much hair. It's gonna take this side, like if you part like a deep part like me, it's gonna take it a lot longer to dry. So part it like how I did, kind of sort of in the middle-ish where the hair is about equal on both sides. And then in the morning or whenever your hair is dry, you're gonna have to like split your part and maybe zhuzh up your roots a little bit with some volume boosting spray or cheap $6 dry shampoo from Walmart. And I'm not hating it. I, again, I haven't seen the back of it. <laughs> Let me look at the, I mean, it's beachy waves. I'm not mad about it. I don't know that I would go to work like this. Honestly, y'all probably all see me without makeup. I mean, if you've watched these videos, you have. But I kind of look homeless sometimes anyways. Like, it's not that bad. It's a little bit poofy. I don't know if maybe some gel or anything. I literally, I'm the hairstylist with no hair products at home. I have gel for my son's hair that's like super glue. And I have dry shampoo and blow dry spray and maybe a little bit of like extra creams and stuff, but I don't like a lot of clutter, so that's not here. I do have some Olaplex, number six, but maybe that would have helped, but it's a little frizzy. It's still a little damp. I gotta quit running my fingers through it or it's gonna make it frizzier, but you could totally do this with four or two boot socks, long socks, depending on how long and thick your hair is. I did not think that it was gonna look this good, so I'm kinda, I thought this was gonna be a hair fail, so. Try this, I mean, you could totally do this at home. I use very little product, and I just showed you how I did my roots, so try it and send me some pictures. Post it on your Facebook or Instagram tag, Jessie Mink Cosmo in it, so I can see it, and I hope you enjoyed this and you can totally do this. I have full faith in you. All you need is some socks. I used hardly any product. So let me know how you do and I will see you again next time. Stay healthy guys. Bye.